Now we move along to a plea deal this noon for one of the suspects in the brutal attack on Steve Utash. Bruce Wimbush, who was just 18 years old, faced a judge today. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards is in the newsroom right now with the latest on the situation. Tara? Well, Vic, Bruce Wimbush was charged with assault with intent to do murder, but today he pled guilty to a lesser charge. He is one of several suspects accused in the brutal attack on 54-year-old Steve Utash. Wimbush was facing life in prison when he pled guilty to this new crime, which is a 10-year felony. In exchange for cooperating with prosecutors and testifying in other cases in the April beating, Wimbush pled guilty to intent to do great bodily harm. In court, he admitted to his part in the assault. What, before you struck Mr. Utash the first time, had he been hit so hard that he fell? Yes. And when he got up, was he visibly stunned and dazed? Yes. And when you decided to hit Mr. Utash, you knew he was already injured by being stunned and dazed? Yes. And you wanted to add your force to him after he was already stunned and dazed, is that correct? Yes. More people began to hit and strike him? Yes. And um, they were hitting him and he fell again? Yes. Okay. A judge then asked Wim Bush why he hit Mr. Utash to begin with, and this is what he had to say. Because uh, I have a little brother, sir, and when I saw the kid, all I could see at the time was my little brother. And I got emotional, and I let my anger take over me. And Wimbush was granted a $20,000 personal bond. If released, he is to be placed on a tether with a 10 p.m. curfew. Three other suspects in this case will be back in court on Thursday. Live in the newsroom, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.